And um, yeah, day one, a little bit cloudy. Got a day to get up on the tops before the rain comes, so we're gonna trek it up this big slip and uh, up the side of Bear Cone. About 550 metres up the hill. We're not past halfway now. Beautiful day, um, it's very warm, not much roaring. Base camp set up 900 metres. Old Chef Thorne over there just preparing the gourmet lunch. And on the way up, just as we struck 2.30, uh, we're just passing about 600 metres elevation. Holy shit, did the deer open up. Bloody stags everywhere. The uh, most what one's just right in the middle of the picture right now. And we come up about 300-400 metres to, to the left of the picture. And uh, we'll go back down after we've eaten and see how good he is. Just sitting in the bush here. We've just dropped back down on that wobbly sounding stag, but it started raining and he's shut up. So we're just going to continue sitting here. The wind's right in our face, so that's quite good. We'll see if he makes any noise, and then um, if he won't, we'll, we'll try and extract a noise from him by so splitting up. And, um... Right, I we got down to where this bull was. Well, half roaring, half bugling from. But there's just no sign of him. The wind's a little bit shifty, but it's mostly in our favour. But there's just no, no noise at all, nothing happening. Plenty of sign, we found his wallow. But, um, it seems like now that the rain started, the bulls have stopped making any noise at all. Okay, no sooner have I said that than we just got the noise from the bull right back on the ridge where we just came up. The rain must have cleared our scent and he's moved back over. into those deer um, but um, they're too spread around so just making our way back up to camp and now that we know exactly where they are we'll come down on them a different way when the wind is right um, hopefully tomorrow after the rain's through there we are here's Chris the cartographer I've got a wee hunt in this morning but things have gotten shit here so we have retired Quite close to the better sounding one of the stags um, from last night, but at the crucial moment he's made a better decision than we have, so we are back to the drawing board now. Right, end of day two. We've graduated to a bit more of a storm. <laughs> As I say, we graduated to a bit more of a storm now, a fair bit more rain. Had to bring the fly in a bit lower because it was getting damaged by the rain. So, and we're just waiting for the right opportunity in amongst all this for CJ to have a piss. Yeah.
Okay, Chris has disappeared up this creek here. And I am down here making uh, as much noise as I can for him, which is working out pretty well. This uh, stag's just up here in the bush on the left, and he's responding to my roars. So, Let's see what happens next. Wait for a bang. It's about uh, 15 minutes later, and the roaring has turned into barking. So our stalk hasn't gone too well for Chris, unfortunately. That's alright. Just at the top of Bear Cone on the Tinsley Highway, day four, is it? No, day three, three. Com day three coming to a close. Yeah. Yeah. Hard day. Here we go again, morning of day four. Beautiful morning apart from the cloud. Just coming along the top of these cones, a point nine seven, oh, nine, four, nine four two, I think it is, sorry. Point nine four two. Beautiful strong deer trails. Nice big fresh wallow, just used. Water's nice and muddy. Made a good mess of that tree too, so that's cool. Base camp number two, just set up. Just starting to rain, which despite it looking almost impossible with how nice the day was this morning, forecast has proved right, very annoying. Um, so, just had a bit of lunch and shortly gonna head off and see what we can find. Just making our way up to this next whoppity bowl. That last one was still quite a bit too small, so leave him and Will alone. Um, and we're going to continue on up here. And the roaring's the roaring's pretty much continuous at this stage. So we had this young one in our way. He was down by that wallow just there. And he was feeding up towards us, so we were out options. So basically when he spotted us, we just roared over the top of his bark. So it all sounded like one roar. And then Chris threw a rock at him. <laughs> <laughs> we had to get him away somehow. And when the fucking rock hit him, he just took off running and didn't bark again. So now we're on, our, accomplished. We're on our way down. The other deer haven't stopped roaring and aren't spooked, so... See what happens next. Oh. Oh, well, so we um, got onto the last one. Uh, he sort of heard us after we spoke the other two. We came, we came sneaking down through here. I was just about to get onto this little rise up there, and uh, he spooked, but I managed to roar at him, and um, he was just standing right here. And just as he wheeled around to spin off, I got a good look at him, but um, he sort of trundled off down there, the head was, was um, 
not really enough spread there was plenty of plenty of points I didn't get a count but it would have been more than 12 and um, timber was reasonably heavy but just just no spread so give them a bit longer as well beautiful morning day five and the deer have gone deadly silent not a single noise coming out of the, the block other than Chris's yawning and there you have it base camp number three Northern end of the Tinsley Highway, day five, and a lazy whoppity just bugling down in the middle of the Stinnerhead Basin, although I think he's the only one. And as you can see, no sooner do we get the tent up, and once again, cloud is coming in, and a little bit of wind starting to blow, it'll rain any minute. Here's what's become of day five <sighs> cards in the tent, but hey, we're friggin' dry, it's pissing down. Hold on, let me show you over here. That billy gets filled about every 60 seconds when we empty it. It is thundering down. But we did manage to get a little look around in the head basin before um, going to bed for the day. It's, what are we? Oh, five o'clock in just a few seconds. Wet morning on day six. We've just stalked down into this gully here to get onto this bull. Probably the best bugling bull we've heard yet. Full blown whoppity. Hardly a trace of red. But um, the wind's just so swirly in here, and we did our best, we got to within about 50 metres of him, but he's just picked up our wind. So we've, we've separated out, give a couple of roars to see if, he, if we can cut him on his way out of the gully, but I think that's, that's the first one stuffed up this morning. Um, here's the main head basin of the Stinner. Beautiful clearings down there. Not very much action down there at all though. I suspect that just about everyone who comes here hunts it first and the hardest. And it doesn't look like the deer are getting left very well alone. Because there is just nothing happening down there compared to the rest of the block. Just spied this wee stag here just hiding on the edge of the tussock. Looks like a wee eight pointer. And he's sitting in the very best of the territory in this head basin. Tiny wee stag, probably only two, two years old, I'd guess. But, um, we can hear another one bugling off in the bush, about 100 metres to the east. No sign of that one yet. Here he is. It's just a wee whoppity. Sorry about the shake, it's a bit windy. He's got a nice bugle on him though, pure animal. Yeah, just in the evening on day six, just having a look in this head basin here. Got some nice little clearings running down into the cat's ass valley. Beautiful day on the tops. Another gorgeous day in Fjordland. Um, good weather seems to put the deer off though, it's a bit quiet this afternoon, not very much happening. Um, looking at the weather forecasts, looks like a few days of snow coming now and pretty much bad weather right up until the, um, right up until the la last day or second last day. Just see the beginnings of it on the horizon. So we're thinking we're going to make a move down to the Stinner Mouth tomorrow. Right, here we are, back at the mouth of the Stinner. Waiting for the machine. Gonna get out just before the bad weather. Good trip. Seven days. Three and a half hours from the hill would have been Hey, what we're doing in? Three and three and a quarter.